rise, float, or sink. If something stays on top of the water, it floats. If something drops to the bottom of the water, it sinks. Some objects float and some objects sink. You might think that bigger things sink and smaller things float. But that is not true. The large kite floats and the small penny sinks. Or you might think that heavier things sink and lighter things float. But that is not true. The heavy boat floats and the light eraser sinks. So why do some things float and others sink? The answer is because of a special word called density. Everything in the world is made up of tiny particles that we cannot see. In some objects, these particles are spread apart. And in other objects, these particles are close together. How far apart or squished together they are is density. When the particles of an object are close together, the object is dense. When the particles of an object are far apart, the object is less dense. The density of an object helps us understand if the object will sink or float. If an object is denser than water, this means the particles are closer together, then the object will sink. If an object is less dense than water, this means the particles are farther apart, then the object will float. Which items are denser than water and which items are less dense than water? An eraser. a flip-flop, a marble, a wood block, a ruler, a stick, a nickel, a fork, which of those objects are denser than water? Which of those objects are less dense than water? How do you know? The eraser was denser than water. The flip-flop was less dense than water. The marble was denser than water. The wood block was less dense than water. The ruler was less dense than water. The stick 
was less dense than water. The nickel was denser than water. The fork was denser than water. We know this because the eraser, the marble, the nickel, and the fork sink to the bottom. The flip-flop, the piece of wood, the ruler, and the stick floated on top. Whether an object sinks or floats does not depend on its size or how heavy it is. Rather, it depends on its density or how close together its particles are. See for yourself. Gather some objects and see if they sink or float. You could try a rubber band, a paper clip, a rock, a sponge, a pencil, a key, or a leaf. What other objects could you test? Remember, whether an object sinks or floats depends on its density.